sad that a player is as good as a, a, we think he probably is shall not be able to <coughs> strut the world scene at the highest level for another two and a half years. Important changes have been made in county cricket. Any team found guilty of preparing a substandard pitch will face having 25 points taken away from them. It's a policy that's bound to lead to heated argument in the county championship. Graham Hick, England's batsman in waiting. Tonight's main story again. The earthquake in Armenia is now feared to be one of the worst natural disasters this century. Tens of thousands of people have been killed and whole towns flattened. Mr Gorbachev has flown home to lead the rescue operation. That's all from the 9 o'clock news tonight. Good night. Now, the news in the South East with Richard Bath. Good evening. As you may have heard, the London Fire Brigade is to send five specialist rescue officers to Armenia to help in the search for earthquake victims. The team will fly out with 11 thermal image cameras which can detect human body heat. They'll also be using new ultra-sensitive microphones capable of picking up a heartbeat under the debris. A spokesman said the team would be sent to areas not so badly affected where there may still be survivors. Two and a half thousand houses in Rochford in Essex are to remain under local authority control after tenants voted overwhelmingly against plans to transfer them to a private housing association. The ballot is one of the first in the country involving council homes. Tenants said they feared their rents would rise if their homes were transferred. A four-year-old Surrey boy was killed and his mother seriously injured when a van mounted the pavement and collided with them. The accident happened as Mrs Pat Hayes and her son David were walking along the New Hall Road in Adelston. The van smashed into a fence and rolled down an embankment. The driver was taken to hospital suffering from shock. 23 voluntary agencies representing hostels for people with special needs lobbied MPs today to prevent the government's social security changes. Many of the hostels are in the southeast, and campaigners say they could close if the planned legislation goes through. People in this country and MPs and everybody aren't aware enough about the value of the voluntary hostel sector and the very great risk that there is, because the funding is in any case so tight, that any changes could actually force the closure of a wide range of projects. One of the great traditions of the season took place in Trafalgar Square tonight when the Norwegian ambassador switched on the Christmas tree lights. The 70-foot high tree was, as usual, a gift from the people of Oslo to thank Britain for her help. Her help during the Second World War. That's it. Now the weather with John Ketley. A very good evening to you. Well, some clear skies in eastern Scotland leading to an icy road tonight. But generally speaking, rather mild conditions. A lot of cloud, though, and some more persistent rain returning to Northern Ireland and the Western Isles by the morning. And it's that northwestern part of the British Isles which are going to be rather badly affected tomorrow by rain. It'll be cloudy all day, rain never too far away, and some of that rain's going to be quite heavy. Quite a wind blowing, too, and temperatures pegged back at about 10 degrees 50 Fahrenheit. Now, on the eastern side of England and northeast Scotland, there'll be a spell of rain around the middle of the day, but there'll be some brightness early on and some brightness during the afternoon, and probably the highest temperatures tomorrow, 12.54. Down in the south of England and Wales, probably a lot of cloud, but generally speaking, dry, just a little bit of rain, perhaps in the morning, then things improving in the afternoon, some brighter skies coming along, but once again, the temperature just about 10 degrees, 50 Fahrenheit. On Saturday, a mild day across the country, some more persistent rain up in northwestern parts of the British Isles there. And eventually on Sunday we'll find that rain making further progress southwards. And there'll be some gale force winds coming down through the country as well. Then brighter skies following to the north. Tonight on Crime Watch, who killed David Short from Broadstairs in Kent? Can you help find the men who threatened him or those who vandalised his car? Is someone harbouring the murderer of Linda Donaldson? Linda was a prostitute in Toxteth and was attacked by someone acting like a psychopath. And maybe you can help to trace the bike riders involved in an armed robbery in Greys in Essex. Last month, almost a thousand people thought they recognised a clue. Watch Crime Watch UK. We'll be waiting for your call. On BBC Two in a moment, 40 Minutes looks at the problems of serious personal debt through the experiences of three couples and talks to a professional debt counsellor who runs a self-help scheme. The next half hour here on BBC One starts with a sketch about Rapunzel, giving the perfect excuse to say it's time to let our hair down with Emma Thompson. <laughs> 